Hey everyone, welcome back. Where today we have a replay sent into us by Burn1889 from, I need to get this right, from the BTF clan. So, shout out for that clan. And what's he in? It's a Jag. Yes, he is. He's in the Jag. <laughs> he is in the Jaguar 1. And already we are, what are we, with two and a half minutes into the game already. And the reason for showing you this pair of games, we've got two games today, not just the one, we have two games. But the reason for showing you these two games is because Burn here pulls off something back to back that I would offer up as a challenge to most, to all players who have the Jaguar or any, or any other vehicle to be honest. If you can pull off back to back what Burn does here, then... I tip my hat to you. I won't spoil it just yet, but Burn has started on the well. He had the he had the western spawn to start off with, and he has pushed all the way up to the eastern side of Vineyards. Now, in my experience, Vineyards is the map if you want to get crazy, crazy, crazy spotting assist. Vineyards is the map to do it because it's wide open and there is concealment and cover absolutely everywhere and as you can see here burn hasn't fired a missile yet but he has over 11,000 11,000 spotting assist and he's sitting up in concealment in a bush spotting the enemy team just waiting for his team that's behind him to just put shots in put shots in and since i said 11,000 he's now gone up to 13 and a half thousand which, you know, that that's incredible. And the game's not even five minutes old yet. Not even five minutes in, and we're at 13,500 spotting assists. The Jag is... It's, it's one of those tanks that was a big hit. The Jag is one of those tanks that takes skill to operate. And it's not like the Weasel. The Weasel is one of those vehicles in which... If you were to say to people, oh look, I've done 20,000 combined damage, and you say it's in a weasel, people will just go, uh, yeah, whatever, weasel, of course you have, you're in a weasel. But if you pull off a game like that in the Jag, then, you know, there's a bit more respect there, because the Jag is different. It doesn't play like the weasel. It's not the run-in shoot disappear again you actually have to know what you're doing in this thing. and that was a beautifully led ATGM pop the smoke to disappear just excellent excellent play I cannot fault this at all he is pushing up aggressively but he's got the concealment to get away with it he's got the team support he's got the team distraction is this an Amarak is it is it no I don't think it will be no not an Amarak but the 477 is dead there you go. The Jag is one of those tanks that you can't just YOLO around in like you can the Weasel. This thing takes a certain level of skill to play. And I'm not saying the Weasel doesn't take skill to play. It does, but it is incredibly forgiving. The Weasel, you can do some absolutely wild stuff in the Weasel and just get away with it because it's so fast, it's so small, it's so nimble. It, 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 could just, it can do stuff that most tanks can't and uh, that's where the Jag is different now this game we're at 15,000 spotting assist 4,300 direct damage done this is a monster game this is a this this game here this is better than anything I've ever achieved in the Jag and there we go there we have the 15,000 spotting assist and let's have a look let's see the numbers is this going to be 20,000 combined? No, not quite. Just under 20,000 combined on Vineyards. So I said this game is back to back, which it is. We're straight into Mannheim now. And uh, hopefully the Stairs of Death don't make an appearance in this game, which. Oh, I can't stand the Stairs of Death. They get me every, almost every time I play this map. <clears throat> anyway. <laughs> 
So here we are. We're sitting right on the boundary, on the K line. This is a great spot, especially if you're in an ATGM vehicle because you've got the lines of sight straight over to the other bridge like you just saw him do there. And you've got the concealment. You've got the, you've got the cover here from the trees. And you can fire shots and no one will know you're there. So I've said back to back. And this is the, these, these games are challenges. So what are we expecting here? Well, we did 15,000 spotting assist. Essentially, 15,000 spotting assist. And now we're only at 158. So can you guess where this is heading? Can you guess? What's the challenge? Well, I'll spoil it right now and tell you. The challenge is, in one game, do 15,000 spotting assist. And then in the very next game, do 15,000 direct damage. Can anybody else pull off 30,000 in two games? 30,000 in two games. And I'm not talking about bot games, I'm talking about real games against players. Can anybody else do that? That's the challenge right here. So we're still sat on the K-line, we're still using the concealment here. He's got team in front of him, which is very helpful because it means that he's not going to be the target, even if he is detected. You can see everybody sitting on top of the hill. This M1A1 is going to get hit soon. That's it. Turn to your side. It's always nice when they do that, isn't it? It's always nice when the enemy team um, start off angled nicely and they say, no, I'll give you my good side, and bang. <laughs> oh, brilliant. I love it. Side of the side of the... Oh. That M1, clueless as to what's actually uh, on his right-hand side. Object 292 here. That's a one-shot. He can take him out, but is he going to disappear? I think he's... Oh, oh. Are we going to... Nicely led. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh my word. That was a... St oh. Oh. Beautiful ATGM. Absolutely st spectacular. So there goes the 292. Is this the kill shot on the... Yeah. <sighs> there goes the Abrams. Two for two. Brilliant. Absolutely spectacular. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I am partial to ATGMs. I do like a good ATGM shot, and that was a good ATGM shot. That that requires practice, a lot of practice to pull that off. Burn, you're doing a fine job in the uh, in the in the jet. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Being very aggressive here. Didn't like that architecture, so we took that out. Six versus six. So it's a matched game. It's not it's not over yet. It's definitely not a confirmed win or guaranteed win. But one thing I will note here is that that was a nice shot. Burn is making sure to keep everything on his left hand side so he doesn't have to worry about the lack of gun depression over the machine gun, which is sat on the right hand side of the uh, of the Jag. So Ooh, three versus five. This is risk. This is a risky move. Ooh. Yeah, no driver. Pop the smoke. Yeah, get out of there. It's time to back off. In the hope that your teammates will do something. Using that nice reverse speed there. That was very nice. Using the reverse speed in this thing. It, it's, it's, it's very nice to have that same forward and backwards uh, speed and momentum. Build that up. Who have we got? There we go. There's the lack of gun depression over the machine gun. Fortunately for him, the there was no shot anyway, so it wasn't that much of a problem. Bouncing off the front. That is, despite the penetration on, the, on these ATGMs, shooting at the front of an Abrams, the lower plate especially, it's not a guaranteed hit. It's definitely not. Now that is a shot I wouldn't go for, personally, and he doesn't. Finds the weak pixel at the front of the Abrams. That was probably an upper plate penetration. That's my guess. That looked like where the ATGM went. So straight through the driver's hatch or something like that. That is the weak spot of an Abrams. FYI, in case you didn't know. From the front, anyway. So we've pulled it back to a 3 versus 3. We're on 12,000 damage, 4 kills. What else can we pull up here? That is an M1A2. That's the lower plate. That's, yeah, minimal damage. Lower plate, not the weak spot. 
but hey, can't fault this guy. Very well played. Three versus two. We've got the Abrams, and I think that last tank destroyer is a thumper. Yeah, I think it is. It's the thumper that he saw on the uh, western hilltop this way. Yes. So there we go. Three versus one, and we're on 12,837 damage. That... Well, you know, it, that, that's fantastic. I mean, let's be honest. The Jag has gone from being a tank that was not worth anything to being something that really is worth something. This is a very nice tank destroyer, and uh, I love playing my tank destroyer. My, my Jag. Uh, <laughs> and the Thumper has come off the high ground and is trying to make his way... Uh, took out that column. That'll need a bridge inspection now, but there we go. Thumper came off the high ground. That's uh, He's making his way downtown, huh? <laughs> Hang a left. Are we ha no, we're not hanging a left. We're going to continue through the smoke. Hang a left here to catch the side. No, we're going to carry on. All right. Now we're hanging a left. There we go. To get the... Rear end of the Thumper, who's on good health still. Missile out. Nice penetration on the side. Tracked him. <laughs> Bit of ram damage. Why not? Go on. Go on. Get the shot. Get the shot. Boom. There we go. So... Here we have a spectacular pair of games in the Jag. One, 15,000 or so spotting assist. The second, 15,000 or so direct damage. Back to back. I challenge anybody to pull that off. And that is all I have for this one, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, leave it a like. If not, a dislike. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.